Say what? Unfortunately, we must inform you of ASAP Delivery's decision to end operations in your market. Never count on any specific app. Effective Tuesday, January 31st, 2023, no deliveries will be accepted or offered to delivery partners after close of business Monday, January 30th in your market. Please be advised that due to our vendor ASAP discontinuing food deliveries in Wichita Falls market, your contract with Delivery Logistics will be terminated on 2-6-23. Any pending earnings, blah, blah, blah. If you're interested in retaining your contract with Delivery Logistics, please email drivers at deliverylogistics.io. This is why you never count on one app. Even if you just use one app, always have more apps in your app collection because you never know what can happen. That's right, no more Bite Squad, not in Wichita Falls area. That's how these apps can do you. So do not depend on them, especially just one. Luckily, I haven't been on Bite Squad in a while. I, I turn it on occasionally, so it's no big loss here. The only thing that concerns me is that was my base ID, and I'm not sure if the IDs are going to be invalid now or if you're still going to be able to use it to get on base to make deliveries. I guess we will find out at some point. And on another note, I don't know, but a car dealership may have tried to scam me. I, I don't know the details, and I'm not accusing them. I'm not going to name the car lot. Um... I get a phone call from a person, not the dealership, that says uh, they needed to talk to me about my down payment of X amount and that uh, they were probably going to need to uh, request more of a down payment, even though I've already been approved from another loan institution. So I'm not real sure what the deal was on that. I called the salesman back and he didn't recognize the name of the caller, and he was going to check with his manager and get back with me. And that's been about an hour ago. So did they try to scam me? Is somebody at that car dealership giving out information? Because this person knew what I was looking at and how much I had to pay down. And nobody would know that information except somebody at that car dealership so word to the wise don't give out information you know after i told him that i had a printed copy of a pre-approval on a loan and it said how much it was and how much my down payment would be he all of a sudden was with a customer and he could be call me back in about 15 to 20 minutes and that's been about two and a half hours ago so will i hear back from him Stay tuned, I'll let you know. I know this has been a short video, but I was just showing y'all and, and letting y'all know how quick a gig app can disappear. Maybe not all over the place, but in your specific market. So even though they may be a big or fairly big company, they can pull out of a market just like that and that's what exactly what they did and like i said don't limit yourself on these apps doesn't mean you have to work them all and all at the same time and all that but have them just in case and the second thing was be uh mindful when dealing with uh companies and car dealerships y'all keep smiling dashing dancing prancing doing whatever it is you want to do just keep doing something because you're going to grow old if you don't i'll see y'all in the next video Bye, y'all.